Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in Salzburg, Austria in 1756. His father Leopold was a respected musician and composer. Leopold recognized his son's extraordinary musical talent early on. Young Wolfgang began composing his first pieces of music at the age of five. He astounded audiences across Europe with his performances. Mozart's childhood was a whirlwind of concerts and travels. He met royalty and nobility, captivating them with his music. His talent was undeniable, a gift that seemed to flow effortlessly. Mozart could play multiple instruments, including the piano and violin, with remarkable skill. His early works, like the Toy Symphony, showcased his playful spirit and budding genius. These compositions, though simple in structure, hinted at the complex brilliance that would characterize his later works. Mozart's early years were the foundation upon which a musical legacy would be built. His early tours across Europe not only showcased his talent, but also exposed him to a variety of musical styles and influences. In 1762, a young Mozart at the age of six began performing in public. As Mozart matured, so did his ambitions. He yearned for greater creative freedom and recognition. This desire led him to Vienna, the musical heart of Europe. Vienna welcomed Mozart with open arms, but it also presented challenges. The patronage system, though providing support, often stifled artistic freedom. Mozart navigated this complex world with a blend of charm and determination. He sought to establish himself as an independent composer, free from the constraints of courtly life. In Vienna, Mozart's genius truly blossomed. He composed some of his most celebrated works, including operas like The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni. His piano concertos dazzled audiences, showcasing his virtuosity and innovative compositional techniques. Mozart's time in Vienna marked a pivotal period of growth and artistic triumph. Mozart's musical output was astonishingly diverse and prolific. He effortlessly moved between genres, leaving his mark on each. His operas are considered masterpieces of the genre, blending comedy, drama and sublime music. The magic flute, with its enchanting melodies and timeless themes, continues to enchant audiences worldwide. His symphonies, including the iconic Symphony No. 40, are staples of the classical repertoire. Mozart infused his symphonies with a depth of emotion and a mastery of orchestration that set him apart. His chamber music, particularly his string quartets, showcased his ability to create intimate and emotionally resonant works. From piano sonatas to concertos, from sacred music to dance suites, Mozart's genius touched every corner of the musical landscape. His ability to blend technical brilliance with emotional depth cemented his place as one of the greatest composers of all time. The Marriage of Figaro was premiered in the year 1786. The Marriage of Music and Words Mozart's operatic genius. Mozart's operas were not mere musical performances. They were complete theatrical experiences. He understood the power of combining music and drama to create captivating stories. His characters, both comic and tragic, came to life through his music. In The Marriage of Figaro, Mozart tackled themes of social hierarchy and love, wrapping them in a comedic masterpiece. Don Giovanni, on the other hand, delved into the darker side of human nature, exploring themes of seduction, betrayal and divine retribution. Mozart's operas transcended entertainment. They offered commentary on society and the human condition. His ability to weave together intricate plots, memorable characters and breathtaking music solidified his place as a true operatic innovator. His works continue to resonate with audiences, proving that the power of his music and storytelling is timeless. Unfortunately, the year 1791 was marked the end of Mozart's life. Beyond the genius, Mozart was a complex individual. He had a playful sense of humor, evident in his letters, known for his quick wit and love of wordplay. Mozart was deeply devoted to his family. He also faced periods of darkness and despair. Despite challenges, his creativity never wavered. He poured his heart into his music, leaving a lasting legacy. Mozart's life was tragically cut short at 35 and left his work on Requiem unfinished. 
His death left a void in the musical world. What masterpieces might he have created? Would he have pushed the boundaries of classical music? Imagine Mozart collaborating with Beethoven. Their combined genius might have redefined the symphony. Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned to Era Shapers.